uh, yeah, that was my fault. I wasn't streaming to Twitch, which is a bit of a that makes streaming a little bit hard. So, anyway, um, we're li now live with the Valencia ladder qualifier for NA, which is happening in roughly a month. I think it's 13th to 15th of July. Um, and with me today, I have some very special guests. Uh, in the top left corner of the overlay, I have <coughs> Dank Shrine. Uh, what's up, guys? My name's Toast. I run the Dank Shrine. Um, if you haven't seen it for some reason, it's a talk show where I interview uh, pro players um, from all the different uh, regions. And I also create other fun content f uh, for the StarCraft 2 community. Thanks for having me. Yes, yes. And in the top right corner, we have uh, DeadPixels' Vitamin, who is manager for DeadPixels. Yeah. Hi, guys. That's <laughs> that's what I do. And I, I, I mean, do you're, you're pretty much my co-host at this point, right? So, I mean, don't really... Yeah, I guess. We, we've, we've pretty much started the thing back for the very first letter qualifier this year. Yep. And we we decided to do the thing 30 minutes before it started, so... <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah, long, yeah. Long way we've come. <laughs> it's, it's gotten a lot better already. All right, so... Um, I also have Fear Dragon on the, on the show today. Not yet, though, because I think he's still finishing up some stuff, so that's why his camera's off. Uh, he will join us later. And then we have a special guest, an extra special guest, because we have a player joining us from the star right now, and that is uh, Plays from Silky. Yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, yeah, so I'm just a uh, silly NA player trying to get up the ladder and show good games, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. S silly NA player? Silly NA player. Yeah, so. All so NA players. Silky has, okay, he hasn't qualified yet because the qualifier ends, or the ladder qualifier anyway, it ends in like one hour and 20 minutes. But it's he's yeah. pretty safe, and he's ranked 5 right now, so seed 5 in that. Um, yeah. So that's why he's here today. He doesn't need to play any more ladder games. No more stress. No more <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> yeah, I was so afraid I was going to tilt today. Like you know, just the last day, everything goes wrong. So, yeah. what, was it was it was it stressful to begin with, or did you just like play your fifteen games and you were safe? Uh, I w actually like uh, I played really well the first two days, um, so I wasn't too stressed out. Like uh, the last one, I tilted pretty hard and like kind of like uh, barely qualified, but. Um, this one, I felt like I played like I should have, so um, it wasn't nearly as bad. Uh, plus, I got like some good sleep too, so that helps, I think. Ah, uh, for sure, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you're a player that doesn't do well under pressure like this, and obviously it's very, it's very like it's exciting, but also it, you know, you get very nervous and stuff, and you don't sleep well because of that. It just makes stuff a lot worse. Like, yeah, you you, you yeah. want to be on top of your game at all times. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's it's gonna be cool to have some insight from an actual player this time because what we did last time we got um uh, a half naked uh, <laughs> petit drogo on at the end, and I mean it was, oh, yeah. it, it was great. honest. <laughs> it was it was great, but but <laughs> during the cast oh, he God. he obviously wasn't able to do much. So yeah, sure. Oh, Makes sense. Hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It reminds me of Kane when he won, like, uh, when he did the qualifiers or something like that. He, like, tried space trade, like, with a shirt off and everything. It's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Hey, man, you gotta show off the goods if you got them. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Well, of course. <laughs> I'm not sure if Drogo has any goods. <laughs> hey, <laughs> he, he would beg to differ. Is clearly. that a call out? Well, uh, I think I a think bench press off is about to thing. happen next, uh, <laughs> next home story cover or something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, so, right now because we haven't really even talked about it yet, um, but um, the current ranking is I think the top six is guaranteed safe and probably Bills in rank seven too, because he's about a hundred more above the red zone the, 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 in rank nine, and considering not a lot of players above these these guys' caliber are playing right now. There aren't many, even in general, but uh, that means they're not going to get a lot of MMR per win, assuming they win everything. So it's going to be very hard to client to grind that up in about an hour. So, yeah, um, yeah. For, for sure. Um, so, but but we don't know. We have we don't have any confirmation or anything if Drunken Boy and Puck are not going to play or if they are if they are playing. It would be wise for them to play because they are still pretty close. Um, yeah. And game time is still you know they can still catch up to game time. 
Yeah, yeah so, so I I have uh, Drunken Boy added on Real ID, and he hasn't played a game in uh, about an hour. Um, I'm not sure if he's given up. I don't want to uh, interrupt him and ask him if he's actually given up, but uh, I will inform you guys in the stream, obviously, if he decides to play, and uh, then we'll have something to watch out for. But um, what what I'm interested in now that we have a player here that is uh, that has played the qualifier and uh, is pretty safe. Uh, how do you feel? Uh, uh, you, you made it for the last ladder qualifier as well. So how do you feel about the level of competition? This ladder qualifier with like more of the top names playing. I'm looking at like Neep, who's yeah. decided to play the qualifier in true. Uh, both yeah. of those did not play the last qualifier. So what what do you think about the level of competition? And was it easier or harder than last time? Um, I well, like personally, I felt um. I guess this ladder qualifier was easier for me because I played better, but um, it's definitely a harder one to qualify for than the previous one. Um, but the thing is, like, um, if there's more people, I feel like, at higher MMR playing, then you have a lot more opportunities to get maybe, like, 30 points, like, 35 points off a player. So you can definitely, like, increase your rank pretty quick. And plus, like, just the level of competition is a lot better. So, like, it makes playing the NA ladder kind of, like, worth it in a way um whereas times you don't play many good people so um overall i think it's a plus to have more and better people playing so do you think that's partially a problem that's exacerbated by the fact that the top eight players don't have an incentive to play in fact like they have an incentive not to ladder if they're in the top eight uh yeah maybe i th i because well I, i'm one of those people like i don't play an eight <laughs> so um, I don't know if I can really speak for that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it does... Man, that's hard. I, I do wish the NA ladder was a lot better, to be honest. But then again, I'm also a culprit, so... Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very hard. Yeah, I, I do wish, though. If, if Neeb, um, and Masa... Like, Masa's actually been playing a lot more in Elite recently, but if, like, you know, Neeb, Scarlet, Masa, all of them were playing all the time, then I'd definitely be playing any ladder all the time, too, so... Be honest, yeah. though. Is Masa <laughs> literally proxying every single game? He... Okay, so he proxied me, like, twice, and then, like, I caught on and did that one base Ravager build, and he hasn't proxied me since, so... <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He played a bunch first tree yesterday, and I didn't see him proxy at all, so... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But maybe he's picking up from Maru. I don't know. Yeah. Well, he he's been streaming it as well, right? And he's been uh, pretty chill about the ladder games, I guess. Yeah. But th yeah. then again, he was he was pretty safe no matter what he did. Yeah. He yeah, was like not gonna top... lose the fifteen right. games. So. Yeah. Yeah. I say like need Masa Semper and True. Like no matter what they do, they'll qualify. I think. Like, yeah, for sure. So I don't. I didn't think they really had much to worry about in general. <laughs> How often did you? Uh, did you manage to get like the the big points, the big uh, plus thirty fives? This that uh, qualifier. So I played true twice, and we went one one, and I got like thirty points off that, which was nice. And then I played like a lot for Semper, and we went pretty even, I'd say. So that helped a lot. Uh, I didn't play Niebuhr Masa at all, though. So. Hmm, um, okay. Yeah. Other than that, though, I did lose a bunch of points <laughs> to like some. Uh, 5,900 players, so that hurts. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, that's that's what makes it so different, right? You're not only playing against yeah. the people that are also competing, you're also playing against people that are, like, just barely not competing or whatever. And yeah. if you lose them, there's so much pressure for you not to lose against those people. Like, Yeah, definitely. And it's not just, oh, you know, like, I can't lose to, I can't lose to a shitter, but it's like, if I lose, <laughs> I might, like, drop out, you know? <laughs> yeah, you get so nervous. Like, um, when you play someone like Neeb or uh, maybe Masa Semper, those guys, um, you're actually kind of more calm because you know if you lose, you're not going to lose many points. Yeah. But you have so much to gain from winning, so it's better, I think, to play people who are better than people who are like in the lower MMR range. You know, so mm -hmm. yeah, that was kind of my goal this time around. Do Do you actively snipe people? Like... No, no, I don't. No. Okay. So. Yeah. I heard that's I... like cons uh, like most of the people on NA kind of have like an agreement like not to snipe each other because you guys don't. Yeah. A, you don't want to face each other, and two, you're, like, usually friends with everybody. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah. Like, um, the only people I'll try to avoid are No Regret, 
<laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I'm scared of I'm scared of ZBZ yeah. all lands. To be honest, <laughs> and uh, any sense. European player, because like I don't know, I don't I don't like playing an NA ladder qualifier when um, it's getting interfered by Europeans. So, no offense, like it's great practice, but like um, I just like would rather you know just play. That, that, that what? That was like a big topic for the last qualifier that like yeah. a couple of the Europeans uh, went a little yeah. bit crazy. Um, and if I'm looking at the uh, the higher ranked GM on on NA, there's like a couple of Europeans in there. There's like Optimus who always plays ladder heroes who doesn't like go on NA to just like fuck with the qualifier. Right. But then there's right. like also uh, Drogo, Snood, uh, sort of. That are yep. that are that are pretty high. Um, how how was was the level of uh, European interference this qualifier? <laughs> Honestly, um, the only person I played this time around was Optimus. Um, I played the two Koreans, uh, Tails and uh, Creator, a lot though. Yeah. Um, but um, Optimus is around Semper level, I think. So um, definitely beatable. But he's very good. He's very good. Um, Tails is very cheesy, and I play him a lot in Korea, so I kind of know his builds, and that was an advantage for me, I think. And then Creator's actually really good, so that was kind of hard. But um, in terms of the other Europeans, I didn't play any, so I can't really speak for that. Okay, so I guess it's kind of fair to say, well, I mean, it's just, I guess, anecdotal evidence, but uh, yeah. I guess it's fair to say that the Europeans didn't go as hardcore in sniping people as they yeah. did last week, or two weeks yeah. ago. See, so, yeah, I'm okay. I think... Um, with the people who are like Optimus, who consistently play any ladder. Yeah. Um, I feel like that's fine, but I think if you're intentionally trying to come over and just mess with the, the qualifiers, that's kind of bad, so. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But it's so hard for Blizzard to do something about that, though. Because, yeah, like, yeah, that's the... You can't prevent people um, from laddering, right? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the only really downside. Um, yeah. But other than that, I think it's a good system, to be honest, so. You're not going to yeah, lose sure. too much, I think, from playing a European player. And if you are, just, like, wait, like, an hour, like, go away from your PC for a little bit and then come back and try playing again, so... I don't well, know. Well, yeah, that, that usually works, but last time it was, like, a, a whole bunch of them. I'm, I'm not gonna name all of them, but, uh... There, there was, like, a whole squad, um... that... Yeah, that intentionally tried to, to fuck with the qualifier, and that just didn't yeah. happen this time. I mean, there's... There, there, there might be... There might be the only one that that did that last time and is high in the uh, high in the GM right now is Drogo. But I, 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 all the all the other Europeans that are high are like actively playing an A letter or yeah. like for, for letter heroes or whatever. Yeah, that's definitely true. Um yeah, I like I wish they would like Snoof um now and then will play an A ladder. So like I think he's okay. Um but yeah, I, I don't think it's too big a deal, to be honest, personally. So it may be different for other players who get tilted, but um, it never really happened to me. So I can't really say that I'm angry or not. So, so, so the Koreans were a bigger deal? Um, yeah. I was I was tuning into No Regret's stream the other day, and he was he was hitting Tails like five times in a row. And he got yeah. really triggered by Tails and like yeah. calling him out heavily. I was watching that, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, no, so... Um, that's the benefit, though, of playing Korea under a barcode, right? Because, like, um, Natural, Tails, and Creator play on NA a lot. Um, but they also play Korea, where I play them a lot. So I know how they play a lot, and it actually worked out in my advantage, I think, um, this time around. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Those sure. are the people I ran into. I guess it was just, like, the hours that I played. Like, I play in the morning or, like, late at night, so that's kind of when they're on, I guess. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, an interesting thought from uh, Sagifred in the chat. He says, uh, I don't know if this is a good idea, but what if the Blizzard did the ladder qualifier after the two normal qualifiers, and then the ladder qualifier is kind of the last chance for the people that didn't make it in the eight spots of the normal qualifier? Uh, you oh. just have the reverse problem, right? Like, you'd have a bunch of people not playing. Actually, even the ladder qualifier would e look even worse, right? Because... The top eight players in the ladder qualifier don't have any reason to ladder. You also remove those top eight players that we currently have in North America, and you have eight, no offense to anybody, but like eight worse players not laddering also. So now it's just like the problem has shifted down one tier, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess. Mm -hmm. All I know is like if I made, like, I could just come over and if I didn't make the qualifiers, I think it would be really easy to make the ladder one. So 
Yeah. As a side note, by the way, Puck is laddering now. Ooh, he's also yeah, streaming with a slight delay, but also he said he's not really playing for the ladder qualifiers, so he doesn't really give a shit about them. Uh, he is just playing because he wants to stream right now. Well, what's his uh, Twitch? Uh, uh, Twitch.tv slash Puck with two Ks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm so just going to keep an eye on that. Yeah, he's playing yeah. true right now. He, so he oh, can get a lot okay. of points off this. That's good, yeah. If, if, he, if he wins that, then that means pretty much he's competitive again, right? Oh, yeah, he's ahead of Drunken Boy if he wins, I think. So, yeah. so, so I don't uh, know. he's been playing 15 maybe, games yeah. a day for the past three days, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't show up in this anymore. So, yeah. um, which, again, uh, by the way, thanks to... Uh, I think it was Nicola. Or Nic yeah, I don't think. Yeah, Nicola. I don't think he pronounced the S. I think I'm right with that. Um, uh, he updates the site very frequently, and basically, whenever someone doesn't play the 15 games required every day, he gets they get removed from the ranking. That's why there's only 12 people or 13 people on the ladder right now, because uh, Volster yeah. shortened. He just played a game, um, and. Um, uh, Puck has played those 15 games for the three days, so I guess he was just giving it a shot, maybe just not tryharding. I think I right. think that's exactly it. He, like many other people, I think have been a little bit frustrated by the format. Uh, yeah. Like, the 15 game requirement has definitely gotten a lot of negative feedback. I don't know if you feel this way, Silky, but uh, yeah. players who kind of say, like, oh, I'm busy one of these days, like, do I really have to play 15 games every day? Can I just, like, play 45 games across three days? And, like, Nobody else is queuing up. It's like frustrating. So I think there's there's been yeah. some people who don't feel great about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not I'm not, I'm not sure if you caught it, but uh, Drogo had a suggestion for that last uh, uh, for the last qualifier, and basically what he suggested was that you you keep the the 15 games somewhat. But you make it uh, a bigger time frame. Like you, you, you say, you make it uh, instead of three days, you make it a week, and say uh, it's still six or seven times fifteen games that are required, but not fifteen a day, but like in total, so oh. that that you could like the the one day that you might be busy, you could uh, you could play thirty games on that day. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I think. Uh... Any suggestion would be kind of nice because, like, I'm not a super big fan because I was really busy um, one mm -hmm. of these days, but I managed to, like, play them. Um, but, yeah, it can be stressful, to be honest. Yeah, yeah for Sometimes. sure. I mean, like, and, and it, it doesn't count for all, but for for a lot of players, well, for some players at least that are playing here, they might not be full-time, right? So they might yeah. have stuff to do and they might have uh, other sports or work or school or whatever. Um, so, so I think that, I think that might be a good solution. But yeah, Blizzard will probably, I, I doubt they're gonna change the system for the next. I think there's, how I think there's two Dream Max. There's one more. Oh, just right? one more. There's yeah, one more. Yeah, there's Montreal. Just Montreal. Montreal. It's, it's four WCS uh, events. Okay, okay. So no, four, yeah, oh yeah, more. Atlanta doesn't have doesn't have uh, Starcraft, right? No, that, that's POSC. Uh, okay, yep. so we have, uh, yeah, just. Yeah. Just Montreal. Just Montreal. That means mm -hmm. there's two more calls. I don't think they're going to do it for two. They might change it up for the 2018 system, which they have promised to keep roughly the same, right, to this system? They said similar, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, so. they, they, they committed to have the, the same price pool and the same number of events. That's what they said. Yeah, okay. 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 But okay. they've also said that there might be unannounced events, right? Like that there could events could pop up. As in, like, it's not set in stone that this these are all the Blizzard events or right. events that Blizzard, yeah. you know, takes part in. That are gonna yeah, I think that's in. what they said it was the minimum, uh, yeah, was, like, this sure. year's format, so. So, yeah, so it, they could have more, but it's it's not super likely, obviously. Um, so I don't think they're going to change anything for the next two qualifiers in A and EU for Montreal, but they could, and they might do it for next year. Uh, as well, yeah. I think I, I mean um, I'm sure they appreciate all the feedback, but I don't think they're gonna just make any changes right now, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, I I just I mean the, the the entire reason we're doing this right now is just because of the lack of coverage of it, right? But it's really hard to cover stuff like this too because we don't actually get to be in the games. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which is and 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 also the qualifiers themselves, the the, the, the open qualifiers, the ESL run ones, are pretty are pretty under covered, I guess. Uh, some games, uh, I think, I think, um, what was it, uh, Scarlet, 
Was it Scarlet? Yeah, it was think? Scarlet Neep. And they, the... they, they played two series, and the first series oh, just was yeah. not broadcast. That was yeah. yeah. A lot of people were I very cast frustrated. I the Reapers. <laughs> <laughs> well, Robbie, you can link that if you want. Yeah, I remember watching that in the on the StarCraft stream, and everybody's like, "Okay, where's Scarlet Neep?" Yeah, like I came here for Scarlet Neep, like so. Exactly, like it's just it's kind of a shame, really, and and, and they should really look into that in the future but also this also also the latter qualifier they need something to hype it up more maybe they need to promote something more like it's just and 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 oh, this works and we're getting people interested into it now but like in general the very very competitive end of starcraft is really into that into this right like all the top players are watching this the player they have to watch the, the they have to play themselves are watching this list the la the the grandmaster letter it's all very exciting but for a casual viewer it doesn't look that way uh, yeah, and Blizzard, it's Blizzard's job to promote that, um, which they still have to definitely. It's have to also do. the community's job, and the community honestly also does like, but like things like this are awesome, and this is not the kind of stuff that I'm talking about when I say this. But the community honestly also does a pretty shit job of promoting events. Like, I agree, Blizzard needs to do like really should be doing more, but. It's not just Blizzard, right? Oh, like no, we can't sure. just be like Blizzard's the only reason why Challenger <clears throat> isn't like a bigger deal. Come on, Blizzard. Yeah, no, that's true. That's true. Yeah. It's a, well, I kind of like the, this just uh, yeah. This just all brings us like, how do you cover it better? Uh, observe the games. How do you observe the game? Have an in-game observer feature, which we don't have. That's like th that okay, is something yeah, that you I can mean, put solely on on Blizzard <laughs> because I mean, the demand. But, that was there forever. Do you? Yeah. Uh, you're you're okay. So you're doing what I think a lot of people do, like newbies in like bronze league or silver league or gold league or even like sometimes platinum or something will do when they watch a pro game. Right? They'll watch a game and they'll be like, "Oh, why didn't that player just get high templar? Like store would have been so good right there." But they're not considering all the sacrifices that you'd have to make to get to a templar archives and a research storm. And to get out high templars and warp them in and build up the energy, right? There's there's things that you have to cut in your build to do that. There's things that Blizzard would have had to cut in StarCraft features and everything as well that they would have to do to get to something like that. That's like a that's an engineering feat right there to just randomly be able to jump into a game yeah. and start watching it based on like how they've built the replay system and everything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's, 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 I think I think even with this with the engine they've got running right now. It's kind of impossible. Um, uh, obviously, we don't know the specifics of it, um, but it's uh, uh, they would have already done it for Heroes of the Storm. Heroes of the Storm is <laughs> kind of the leading thing in this engine. They took the Starcraft engine, put it in Heroes of the Storm, and then Heroes of the Storm was the first one where you could jump back into a game if you disconnected, right? It would reload the game up to where it was live, and that was huge, I think, personally at least, when I saw that happening. when I think yeah. Heroes of the Storm was just before it released, or maybe just after. It was awesome. And now we have the rewind feature in StarCraft, sir. But it's very hard to implement that the live observer thing it's, and other stuff into an engine that's like now seven years old. Well, it was it probably they probably started production on it in like 2007 or 2006, right? It's very very old, and it's very robust. Uh, robust, but it's very. That, that's also why it's very stuck in a place that, that it's in right now. So I, we need like a StarCraft three or something for that for that to change. <laughs> Uh, I, I think yeah. anyway. Maybe not. Maybe they'll. It, it's probably possible somewhere, but they oh, would need I'll to just put them. Yeah. 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 yeah I was about to say. So yeah, Pop got a bunch of points, which. He must have, yeah. 25 MMR. 25. 25 MMR, where does it put him? Let's see. Uh, 63.59. Um, yeah. Ahead of Drunken Boy. Drunken Boy has been idle, by the way, in BNET for 57 minutes. I don't actually know if he's still yeah. trying. I don't think he's gonna play. Puck. Yeah, so Puck's at sixty-four oh seven, so he's forty points behind game time. Mm. All right, that's wonder... doable. So he's probably oh, forty points. Yeah. Does anyone have game time online? Yeah, yeah. I, I have uh, him. Game time's game time's not gonna play until he is yeah. right until in he has actual to. danger. Yeah. 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 Also, I hope Tree keeps losing. No offense, because I want to be seed four. So. <laughs> 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 don't tell him I said that. <laughs> that's legit. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, so Puck got 31 MMR from that. Yeah, and he, he's playing again. True again, so... Ooh. Like, beat True two more times, you're in. <laughs> oh, he's definitely yeah. got a shot then, so... 
in mm, game time. If he has to feel like he needs to snipe puck and then puck wins, that's you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's a pretty big deal. Um, uh, Cotton Mouth, uh, what about League of Legends? You can run and observe those games. That's true, but um, the game or the engine for the game was probably designed with that in mind. And I think I think it also doesn't help that Blizzard built their engine right before all those games came out with their amazing features, right? And then they were like, oh, <laughs> we can't really go back now. <laughs> so it's uh, th that's that's my theory, obviously. But uh, So I, th I think in-game observing is very hard, but that would make stuff like this incredibly interesting. I don't know if you guys were there, the people that are watching, or the people here, but last week we had the EU version of this, and mm -hmm. we had uh, on Stranger's stream because Strange was playing Hero Marine, and I think oh, and and, and, and oh. He, yeah, he was. I, I don't even remember exactly how it went anyway, but if he if he won the game in time, he would have been safe. But then we also realized that Numshare was also in the game, apparently. Numshare yeah. actually won. Hero Marine, we thought he was losing, but he won too. But it didn't matter anymore because Numshare won the game first. And that's why the Numshare was, came up above Hero Marine, and he was ninth yeah. by like two points or something. No, like, it, was yeah. one, it was one point. It was, it was one, one, one point? point. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, it was yeah. one point. Oh, that, so if, if we were able to observe those games and cast that live, that would be yeah, insane. Yeah. That would be there would be so much hype behind that. But it's it's just yeah, really. impossible. That right would now. be the the yeah. hypest Starcraft thing since Nasty. Yeah. But instead, <laughs> yes. we casted it on Stranger Stream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yes. And so, everyone was like going crazy in Stranger Stream chat. It was like I have no idea yeah. what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious though, because um, that that would actually make it so so great for like a viewer to just be able to um, be able to watch a stream that's promoting these things while you're observing it, like even with a delay, you know, it would be great. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm like curious if you know maybe they'll even do a ladder qualifier next year for a challenger because maybe they feel like it's not getting enough exposure. So. Well, I mean, we're doing our best right now, but it's just, it's all we can do. So. Yeah, no, I mean, this is great, you know, I just want to know if uh, maybe Blizzard has better options in mind, too. For sure. So. Yeah. I, th I think, like, when when they first started doing them, um, the the response from, like, everyone in Wolf was, was pretty good. And the, I think, like, no one, no, none of the players disagree with the, with the thought of a ladder qualifier. It's really just the, the system of the 15 games a day. That is a problem for for some of the players, but yeah. no, no one like in general disagrees with having a ladder qualifier. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yep, and and and, and there's obviously like a, a bunch of small changes they can make. Like uh, some players are making the argument that using points, just like uh, ladder heroes does, right? Hey, look at that! <laughs> wow, wouldn't it be really cool if there was a system that could do that? <laughs> And <laughs> you can make money doing that too, no? But like, yeah, yeah, some people suggest that, and 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 I mean, Blizzard might listen to that in the future. You know, there's small changes, but the biggest yeah. one is obviously the exposure for the entire thing. I I think Blizzard intends this to be very interesting, and it is, but it's just it's hard to put it out there. Yeah. Um. So yeah, is it yeah. true? Is in a game for his puck, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. They're playing right now. His his puck played his 15 games for today. Yeah. Uh, there's no the 15 game thing. Like it's it's pretty much done. Like you don't have to worry about 15 games. Anyone oh, okay, that's on it. that site already played their quote unquote 50 games. But the promotion thing already happened. So like that was what two hours ago. Yeah, so yeah, pretty roughly. much. Yeah, that was just that was just like that rerun. That's, okay. yeah. that's why that's why this asshole isn't actually playing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, that's that's something. Um. Uh, Nicola, the um, author of this website, actually touched on last time too, um, because the the website is programmed to reset the number of games at 9 p.m. Uh, server time. I guess I guess at server time, every every time. Um, but the last day is three hours longer because they want to end up midnight Eastern time. So yes, that's, um, that's why the website registers it as zero zero one one game or uh, three games in Pili Pili's case, right? But it's not actually it, it, in Pili Pili's case, it will be 18 games, right? Or at least 18 yeah. games. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the, don't pay attention to that too much. Um, 
Mm-hmm. It's not really relevant. All the players that are in the green right now, uh, green and red, all the players on, the, on this list have a chance. Although, um, uh, he said, uh, uh, Niklas said that he uh, didn't have the time to remove future and volts because apparently did uh, they didn't. Uh, sorry, future, yeah, future and volts. I think because they didn't play enough in the past oh. two days. But yeah, so but that doesn't really matter. They're a little they're pretty low out now. Yeah, the the odds oh, are pretty low on that. Guys, we just got a host from Pig. So, oh, thank you, thanks, Pig. Oh, thanks, Pig. Thanks, Pig. Thanks, Pig. Thank you, Pig. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, quick recap for everyone just that uh, just tuned in. Uh, we're doing uh, a final hours podcast, I guess, or podcast show of uh, WCS Valencia qualifiers from the NA ladder. Uh, it's about an hour until the ladder locks, at which point, or 15 minutes actually, at which point the top eight players get a seed into the main qualifier to get uh, an all. Uh, pay trip to Valencia this summer, uh, which by the way is awesome. Sun's out, it's amazing. Um, so if you're from an A <laughs> and you qualify, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're gonna yeah. be very happy going there. Um, yeah, so Valencia yeah. is pretty yeah. cheap, you're gonna have a good time there for oh, sure. Yeah, if you've never tried Sangria, guys, you need to. Um, but uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I, I hope you enjoy the stay. We are getting games as we go on. Right now, Puck's in a game versus True, which is the most important game that's being played at a high level right now. Because if Puck wins uh, two more games... Uh, assuming Against he plays, True. Yeah, assuming he plays True. Yeah. Um, that means uh, he's actually going to pass by game time, and that means game time will have to play again. Uh, yeah, it'll force game time to, to pick up. Yep, exactly. Because uh, otherwise, game time's out, and... Uh, you know he doesn't want that. Uh, game time also qualified for uh, uh, shopping, right? Because we had him on yeah, the call last yeah. time. So uh, that will be two qualified, uh, two times qualified for the. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Judge shopping? Or uh, sorry, he qualified for challenger last time. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. That's qualify I mean. for yeah. the event. He qualified yeah. for the qualifier, and that will mean he would qualify this time again. Uh, so that he has another shot at that. So yeah, that's great. Yeah. Um, but Puck's on his heels right now, so uh, we'll have to see. Obviously, we can't go into the games uh, as we uh, were just discussing earlier, so we're going to have to watch this website, uh, which is beautifully designed, to see if Puck and True... And also, we use the in-game client, obviously, to see if Puck and True, the results of that, and the MMR changes. So that's what we're kind of uh, waiting on right now. There's a lot of bans in this game between them. Oh, is there? Yeah. Yeah. Puck, Puck has banter in like every game he plays with anyone he's like remotely <laughs> oh. friendly with. It's actually it's yeah. actually great watching his stream. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not. I, I don't want to. I don't want to make an accusation here, and that's not what I'm trying to do. But oh, let's say Puck finished the game. Oh, you're ahead of you're ahead of me. Let's let's say that uh, he lost. True, let's say that let's say the true dropped a game right. Like let's say he's like, hey, isn't uh, isn't challenger still going on, or isn't you know the ladder challenger still going on? He's like, yeah, and then, like, True just leaves. And then he gets, like, the free win and the free MMR. Like, what uh, What happens then? That'd be super sketch. Well, right, for sure. Oh. But I'm just saying, like, what do you do then? It's like, well... Because he could have been like, oh, no, but I just got busy. Like, I don't know, like... It's also just the argument that whose fault is it? If True yeah. decides to do that on his own, is Puck going to be the one that's punished because True decided to do something like that? Right. So, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's not even worth talking about because that's yeah. not the case. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to be. I don't want to be negative. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, the, this this stuff has has happened in the past, and players got the punishment in the past. And if if like True decides to do that shit, uh, w- like without there being Puck that said, "Hey, why why don't you drop a game for me?" Um, it it sh- it shouldn't be Puck, but yeah. Like why why would why would you why would you do that in the end? And I mean like true just once, yeah. so it's definitely not not right. The case. I, obviously, I mean obviously. The, the other slightly scummy thing that you can do, for example, let's say no regret goes and talks to his buddy Bjorn, says, "Hey man, <laughs> <laughs> one of my opponents is playing right now. Can you go ahead and snipe yeah, him for me?" Yeah, I, yeah, and it's so actually hard to prove I was worried too. about that because Lenok. I got up because I had to cast some stuff at like five in the morning uh, today for me, and I got up and I see Lenok online. I'm like, Lenok doesn't play in North America. He's sitting there. I'm like, is he? Did No Regret 
to ask Leonok to start laddering for him or something, but Leonok <laughs> hasn't played at all. He literally, I think he played in some base trade event and just idled in the game after that on North America. Oh, well. Yeah, <laughs> probably. It made me think, like, there's some scummy things you could do. Yeah, there are. Yeah, I've also, I think, uh, last season, um, there were some people who would play on their Smurf account and try to lower other people's MMR or something like that. That's what I was saying. Like, you, why I don't understand why people don't play unranked. Like, Unranked, yeah, I, oftentimes your MMR is going to be lower, and you can yeah, get it totally. just barely in range to like snipe people, and there's zero cost to you. Yeah, yeah. I like you said earlier though. I think just everybody on NA is like kind of knows each other and doesn't want to be the scumbag to do that, you know. So yeah, yeah. I think it's all like fair kind Self -policing. of self-policing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like a mutually assured destruction kind of a. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if one player starts, we're all just gonna do it. Yeah, yeah we I, have a rogue player, so. <laughs> I feel I feel like on EU, it's it's a lot less about those rules and just about who can get the top eight. Like yeah. it's, it's, it's it's I guess little less gentlemanship, uh, but that that might just be me. Like people are obviously people are friends on everywhere on EU and a cross server, but it's just a lot more volatile in the way that there's no real rules, right? Mm. Like. It's just, uh... I, I honestly, I disagree to some degree with that. So, because when, I, when I'm looking at the, at the top eight uh, for, for North America right now, like, I, 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 would, I, don't, I don't know for sure, but I would say, like, everyone's friends and, and no one wants to be uh, the, the scumbag. Asshole. But, if, yeah. Yeah, but if, I'm, if I'm looking at, at EU, there's, like, people that uh, oh, sure, yeah. openly dislike each other. I'm, I'm thinking about like Nurtio and Snoo. Those two. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, I don't know why they dislike each other though. Just, I, uh, something I, it, about them. Yeah, because they always have to play each other. Yeah. No, 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 not, 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 well, maybe, yeah, but not only. It started it's, a while back. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. It just, it's just fuel for the fire at this point, though, because they already kind of didn't like each other. And then when you yeah. trade games back and forth, like that are yeah. important, it's like, God, I hate losing that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can see that. But like, uh, like if you if you think about the the incident in Austin, it got to a level where it's like, um, you you can really like start to call that a, a rivalry and see that they really dislike each other personally as well. Yeah. 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 For yeah, sure. It's uh, it's interesting. Yeah, you you definitely definitely has that a little bit more. I feel like it's also a bit of like, I don't want to say like, being patriotic, but like. NA is mostly like th these ladder. Th this ladder is mostly players from just the United States, right? United States and Canada, and uh, mostly. Uh, Obviously, there is some exception to that. But... I think a lot of that is because the really good Canadians are already in the top eight. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Massa or like oh, Semper yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure, but in, in EU, that there's so many different countries, and it's not like, oh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a European, and we have to like stick together, you know, like that doesn't really work that way. I know, for example, the Dutch players, they they kind of bat together in a, in a way, and the Polish players do just like nurture with laser, you know, but they don't. It's not like, oh, it's like TLO and Nurcho are are in this bracket together, or like, or or wishing each other best luck because we're both European, you know. It's a little bit more diverse than that, I feel, but I'm not sure if that's true. That you, yeah. you, that might be. I, I mean, that that kind of stuff's gonna happen at the at the actual event, like yeah. the, the, when 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 Europe faces an A, then like then then we have the yeah. Uh, then then we have the patriotic stuff going on, but uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Not sure. not 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 on on the EU server to the same extent as it happens on NA. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Do you guys know who Puck is playing right now? Uh, someone in the chat said... I uh, it. Epic. Ah, oh, okay. what? Is he playing again? Um, he plays Epic. off and on, I feel like. Epic is, yeah, Epic is like mm -hmm. that kid that is super duper talented. If he really gave it a good effort for an extended period of time, I actually think he could probably be... He, could, he would be one of those like the few Terran players that could actually do well in North America. Cause right now there's like Semper and Masa and then there's this huge gap and then there's people like poke Bonnie and stuff and like cuddle bear yeah. and big, I actually think could break through on that, but he just doesn't, he just like take off for four or five months at a time. Yeah. I feel like the tiers of Terran and NA go like Masa Semper are like tier one, <laughs> you know, and then you have yeah. Drunken boy soloing tier two and then there's <laughs> tier three. 
so yeah. I don't know. Um, there's no, to be honest though, the I have barely played any Protoss on North America though. There is a serious lack of Protoss. Um, oh, dude! In I have it. I'm writing an article about this. Okay, there are yeah. there are the four the four Protoss, the four kings of North America. Okay. Yeah. Actually, it's really it's really the king and his three bishops or something like that. <laughs> you got Neeb, you got Neeb who's the king, and yeah, nobody's right. even close to him. But then you have Puck, Peely, and Bales as like yeah. the three next best Protoss. And then there's huge gap. There's this huge huge gap. Oh, and yeah, then you have totally, people yeah. like Creature and stuff, and it's like. Rengen. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's it's. I think I've played um, um, CBZ so much recently, and it's driving me nuts. Um, so whenever I get a Protoss, I'm like super happy. <laughs> I'm like, I finally get to like actually <laughs> like play a different race now. It's great. Dude, this isn't even Justin Grandmaster, man. I think because uh, I actually I will ladder, and people will be like, whoa. You're the first Protoss I've seen in like 26 mm. games. I'm like, yeah. well, then you're not going to be expecting these DTs that I'm about to make. <laughs> You've not been practicing this shit. This is be like, That's oh great. my god. <laughs> my win rate is artificially inflated because I think my opponents don't get to practice uh, whatever Z versus Protoss. Yeah, oh, that's funny. I, I I think it like it, it is it is bad on an A, but it's even worse on uh, on EU. If I if yeah. I if I remember a season ago. Like I'm, I'm, uh, I'm at a low masters level, and out of out of fifty games I'd played, I would play Protoss two or three times, yeah. and that is, yeah. and like I, I played on NA just to face some Protoss. Wow, yeah, yeah I know yeah. EU is like notorious for ZBZ and, um, all day. Like I, uh, I was talking to Zanster a lot, and he's like, yeah, at least like fifty mm. to sixty percent of my games are ZBZ. Yeah. And as a result, so. what what happens as a result is that you, the European CVZ gets godlike, right? Really, really yeah. good, especially against each other, yeah. obviously. But their ZVP and their ZVT just chokes a lot, and we saw that at Karavice, where and Austin, uh, yeah, yeah, Austin, for, yeah, Austin too, and 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 Cyril is just Cyril is this this European, I guess, <laughs> like this this prince, right? Because he's he's, he's, young, the he's not a god, yeah, he's, he's not a king yet. He's he's a prince, <laughs> but like. <laughs> He's he he just he just wipes the floor with everyone, and then he play and then he plays against like a really really good Terran, and, yeah. and it's and that he doesn't usually play against, and it's just like, well, I just you know I just haven't had the chance to prepare for this because I don't ever face any really really good Terrans, yeah. and it's for yeah. you it's very hard to play in Korea too, so you don't really get to play against the innovations and and the Ty. so you're stuck with a couple really good Terrans on you and a couple really good on an A, and uh, but that's not enough of a, a Terran pool, I guess, right? For yeah, them to practice enough. Yeah, um, yeah. He Sarah lost to major. Um, yeah, to major. Yeah. And like, if if Sarah's like ZBT was on the level of his ZBZ and ZBP, I think he would be like like Puck one of the won, best players. The to be honest, yeah. Puck won this. Puck, why are he, you so far ahead of yo, me? Yo, because I'm on. I'm watching this, this game. This DT. This, yo, honestly, this if anybody's watching, they should. They should tune into Puck's stream right now because yeah. this is pretty insane. So yeah, like to give context, it's turned into this like really weird base trade, and I kind of missed it because I was like listening to you guys and everything. But then I look back and Puck just has on the other side of the map like six probes pulled <laughs> for some yeah. reason with his army just attacking yeah. some stalkers. But uh, he does an awesome job. Like he stays underneath the command center, the only orbital command, and warps in like one DT. And just prevents the command center from landing with his stalkers and stuff. To otherwise, I think he actually would have like if, lost if it. he had, if yeah. he had lost that, that that would have been the, the his WCS because he just gained that guy was like below five point nine k. So if he had yeah. lost that, that would have been a minus forty, and that, that would yeah. over, yeah. you, you, you don't recover from that in thirty five minutes. Yeah, for yeah, sure. definitely not. Okay, so so he's again within two games reach if he plays true, right? He might want to like maybe like actually try to snipe true now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think I don't think true cares like at all. Yeah, because true is safe and sound. And yeah, true's yeah. not worried. Um, but but like, drunken boy is not playing at all anymore, right? He's been idle for like mm -hmm. a, a good hour now. Um, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He's, he, gave he's, up. He, he, he gave up. Okay. Because okay. like so, if he if he played puck right now and won like a few games in a row. He'd be in a really good spot. Exactly. Yeah. Or like Puck did the same thing, you know. So, 
I'm kind of curious. Yep. So if if he starts a lot of that would be really really interesting, especially concerning puck and eventually game time, because if they keep playing each other, you know the MMR keeps rising and game time is gonna get like a little yeah, bit exactly. sweaty. But um. But drunk drunken boy is like okay to paint a picture. Drunken boy is that one asshole friend who comes over to your house to like play Smash Brothers or something. It's like, yeah, I don't own Smash Brothers. <laughs> I like don't really play it ever. And you are sitting there like playing your ass off, like playing versus the level nine computers and stuff, constantly grinding it, like pl- look- looking up videos online. And your yeah. friend just comes in and whoops your ass. And you're like, <laughs> how? <laughs> Why? Yeah, I know. Right? And your friend doesn't even care. Does he doesn't even, even care. That's who Drunken Boy is. He's the guy who casually plays like, yeah, I kind of play for fun. And as soon as the game's not fun to him, he's just like, yeah, I'm not really playing StarCraft for like four or five months. He'll come <laughs> back and he'll still just be really freaking good and yeah. be like beating creator and random Koreans. And it's like, how? Why? Yeah, it's yeah I think um, the cool thing with StarCraft that I've realized is even if you take a break, your skill level, you can get back to where you were. Um within maybe, like, a month or two. Um, and, like, even better, to be honest. Sometimes breaks are really good, I think. Yeah, for sure, so, for sure. I, yeah, I've, I agree. I've taken breaks for, like, two or three weeks and then just come back and just my... Well, back then, I wasn't in my MMR, but I felt like my MMR, like, was rising, like, 100, right? I was just playing much better. And it's just because you have, like, a fresh mind, right? You're not... Your builds are, like, a little bit less ingrained. You might try some different stuff that you might enjoy more. Uh, you know, you're gonna focus on different things to improve. It's just, it's just a, a kind of like a clean slate every time you take a longer break. I feel anyway. Yeah. Uh, Dude, like it, it, it's just like two or three weeks without ZBZ. That's like happening. And after that, you return like <laughs> yeah, it's oh. like a vacation in and of itself. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you feel enlightened when you come back. You know, you're like oh, <laughs> oh, I'm ready to play some stuff. Oh shit, it's another ZBZ. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, this is wait, this is why I left the game. You know, <laughs> so. there's actually a phenomenon for that. Uh, like it's actually pretty well no- known and talked oh, about in like Smash Brothers, for example. Because a lot of people like when, for example, they learn how to do like the super duper basic like advanced techniques called like wave dashing and all this L canceling and stuff. And they always say like, don't just practice it for like two hours straight because that's what a lot of newbies will do. Like it's really common advice to say like, go practice it for 10 to 15 minutes, take a five minute break and then come back and practice it for another 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, It's it's like a, I think a well-documented effect in like human psychology also. That's, That's how, um, it's, it's, it's called a certain maneuver. I think that's how people are often taught to study as well. Right. To be able to, get uh, things in your long-term memory as fast as possible um yeah. obviously uh it works better for some people and so but uh, it, you know it is documented and it is well studied so it, yeah it would make sense that it applies to just a skill as well right not just memorizing mm-hmm. things uh, right for sure like yeah, yeah just, i know uh, when i like uh like i'll study for like an exam or something um i've heard many times like study for a half hour and then take like a five minute break and then come back to it yeah. so that's probably also applicable here yeah. a lot of it's the because other way the, yeah yeah a I lot of it's five because minutes we... take a 30 minute break <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> no facebook for 40 minutes you know and then you're like oh man wait <laughs> so well, i mean time. now your facebook timeline will be really imprinted in your long-term memory though <laughs> right <laughs> you'll always remember what i really hope so. not <laughs> <laughs> you'll remember everybody's birthday uh, yeah. <laughs> Jacko, I see two in the chat. Says, okay, it wasn't epic. He played three wins in a row in thirty-three minutes will be near impossible for Perk. So that might mean he lost. Nah, no, no. very hard. He's um, he's just got a game with a uh, disc who's around six k, I think. Okay, so that's mm-hmm. gonna be very Something hard. Like that? He needs to win very quickly. Then, in that case, I would say, because if he, yeah, I if that game drags yeah. out, then I think he'll start teasing. Yeah, this, yeah, I wonder if uh, Puck gets within like, I, a twenty point range if game time will play. I think mm. I think that's that, that's possible, but also I don't actually think that Puck will start cheesing. Because one Puck cheesing doesn't happen anyway. It, it it doesn't happen very often, and when it does, it doesn't always go super well. <laughs> but also two, like Puck I think has been pretty clear that like he's just like He's not going to stress about it. I think he's just kind of like, he's going to yeah. play because, yeah, eh, you know, why not? I want to stream anyways. Yeah, but if it happens, also, it happens. But also, yeah, you, I think that, like, if it gets down to it, Puck's just going to be like, whatever, I'll play through the ladder or the uh, online qualifier. Yep. Yeah, makes yep. makes sense. So so if this is about 6K, that 
If Puck wins this, that is about like it should be twelve, thirteen points for him. Yeah. And then then he is still thirty five away. So uh yeah, and how ma- how, how much time is left? Yeah, that's thirty minutes left. Um tough. Yep, yeah, for sure. It's I think I think everyone above game time is just completely safe to ride. Like Bills has stopped playing hours ago. Well, maybe not hours ago, right. but like he stopped playing a while ago. Game time is obviously still looking at it because you know what if Puck does face did face True two or three times, beat him two or three times, then it'd be mm. you know over real real quick. Um, but uh, I think slowly but surely results are kind of settling right now uh puck still has a chance don't i, I don't think we should count him out completely but it's gonna be it's gonna be an uphill battle but then again you know yeah. we we saw the eu qualifier uh, last week which was super hectic and that was really <laughs> close in the end too even though it didn't look like some players were, were able to catch up they did um mm. so yeah, yeah. um so, and and actually we, we had a we had a situation in the eu qualifier were like 15 minutes before the cutoff, the eighth and ninth player had the exact same amount of points. It was Hiromarin and Stefano, and they had the exact yeah. same amount of points. And I was, we were like thinking, like, what if Stefano like gambles for for the draw now? Like, what is oh, Blizzard yeah. gonna do? Wait, do we have rules for draw? this? No one knows. There, there are no rules for that. I know there because no I was rules. talking with a person who mm. runs this at Blizzard, and he was like. Yeah. So, I'm. Mm, there, there was not a rule for this. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I think that. I think they would have. They would have just had the two players play like a best of five or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Best of five show match. <laughs> yeah. Wonder I mean, qualifies. Todd, Todd it, it, and Kolaris can cast. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no shots fired, but do you even think it would get, end up getting broadcasted? No. <laughs> based on based on the coverage we've seen of WCS qualifiers, it wouldn't surprise me if they were just like best of one go, rock paper scissors, <laughs> like <laughs> just playing a ladder CBS. game. <laughs> call, call you have to queue, Lord. yeah, you have to queue simultaneously. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, man, it's uh, yeah, but it it was it was also so funny because on on the website, um, like it it kept updating. And it kept randomly like putting one above the other because it it's like it random on on the ladder as well. Mm-hmm. Who is yeah. who's on top if they have the exact same amount of points? So I don't actually think it's random. I think that they're. Uh, I remember. Oh god, I I had to look into this for ladder heroes at one point. So I'm trying to remember. It's I. It's one of these three things. It's either alphabetical. No, it's I'm not. Um, joking. It's not that one. It's it's whoever played most recently. Or it was uh, based on, oh god, what was it? You're so like you know on if you ever uh, like go onto the actual like web page, not like in game BattleNet. You go to the actual web page for someone's profile. You have that number in the URL bar for your profile. If mm-hmm. that number's lower, then I think some you may. It's one of those three. I can't mm-hmm. remember which one though. I, I checked. I, I checked for alphabetical, and it's not okay. Okay, maybe it's not alphabetical. It might be either most recently played game then, or it may be the uh, ID number. Yeah, but it's, it's something kind of silly. I remember that. Puck just finished another game. Yeah, he's, he's probably he's probably losing. He's losing two DTs and he can't get. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, he just yeah. lost. He lost his robot. All right, forty-seven MMR guys. Oh, that's well, that it. is uh, that is the qualifier right there. Um, Congratulations, yeah. Neep, Master, Semper, True, Silky, Philly, Bale, <laughs> same time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, question in the chat, real quick. Uh, why isn't Scarlet on the list? Is she not an A? She is an A, but she's living in Korea. She plays on the Korean ladder, and it, she's not playing on any ladder for this. She chose not to, uh, because probably because she's confident she can make it through the open qualifier, and would rather. <laughs> spend time uh doing that uh just playing that than spending 45 games on the na ladder because their quality of games is lower for her that said it's kind of interesting because neeb does play on the na ladder this time around even though he didn't last time that, so that's specifically he, because he's going to be traveling to korea on one of the days oh okay, and he so didn't want to okay. risk it as being like a single elimination best of three where it's just like oh 
okay, well, you know, I got matched up versus True, and, yeah. like, in a best of three, I lost for whatever reason. It's like, now I'm out. I don't get to play in Challenger. I, I think uh, Neep had a, had a good quote about that, like, last time. I can't quite remember what it was. Yeah. Like, is, he, told, was it? he told me this at the base trade uh, Ting finals, because it was, like, when the first Challenger was happening, and I asked him, like, hey, why, why aren't you playing the qualifier? Like, you could literally probably throw half, like, instantly leave half of your games and still qualify. He was like, why would I play in the ladder qualifier where I have to play for 45 games when I can qualify in 10 if I play on the online qualifier? <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Only you get to say that, but you're right. He's right. right. I mean, <laughs> unless he had to play, like, um, Scarlet or True in the qualifiers, I don't think there's, like, any way he would yeah. drop a game. Yeah. So. Yeah, but there's there's the, still seeding in in the qualifier for yeah. WCS points, so yeah. he will always be seed one. Yep, and even true. then, he would at worst have to play twenty games when he plays in the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah it, must it, be it, nice. It's always a risk. It must be nice. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> always a risk, obviously, because there are there are and especially last time because True didn't play either, and Scarlet didn't play, and, and there's a bunch of players that did not play. So there's always a risk, but I think for Neep that risk is small enough that he uh, he could take that leap, right? He could take that that uh, that risk. Uh, Top eight is a lot, honestly. I actually like yeah, from is, a, from a, a spectator of... perspective and like someone who's like covered some of the qualifiers and stuff. I know that this obviously I think this is mostly about organizational effort. I actually really think it should be four qualifiers, and I think it should be top two. I really think that because I think it's so easy to get bracket luck. No offense to what's his name, yeah. but like, there was there was that one. Who was that Terran that qualified for the Storks. NA qualifier? Skotorx. Like, Storks. okay, look. Yeah. Not gonna lie, man. No offense to Skotorx, yeah. but like, there were there were some other people <laughs> that I think are better than him. But yeah, I, I think yeah. he got a little bit lucky with his bracket. Yeah, I um, I'm always just a big fan of double elimination brackets, to be honest. Um, so. I don't know if that you are, one maybe... You are one of the few and far between in terms of players I've talked to, because most players are like, after I lose my winner's bracket match, I don't want to mm. play anymore. Like, I'm done. Yeah. Why are you making oh, really? me play this bracket? Yeah, yeah oh, that's wow. such a common complaint. Uh, see, base trade see, I'm used the to complete do a bunch of double opposite. Animation. I'm the complete opposite. I would rather have a second chance. Like, if I got really bad bracket luck, like, let's say um, in my bracket, I had to play, like, a, a Scarlet or something like that. I would be really demoralized because I'm like, well, if... I probably will lose to her, so I'll have to play tomorrow. And what if I get another bad bracket? You know, so yeah. Well, um, I've 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 had to deal with that uh, a couple of times for the base trade events with my players, and um, it 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 happened regularly that I had to convince them to keep playing because uh, the way they were thinking about it is like, well, I've I've dropped out against whoever now in a in like a couple of rounds away from the qualifying round yeah and uh, then they would be placed uh, in the lower bracket and they would have to uh like play for hours and hours in the lower bracket and then probably still uh run into like someone really good like snoot or a laser in the lower bracket that you're not favored uh. against and then yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. like why, why, why even bother? Why, why like say staying up, fucking up my sleep schedule, uh, being late for school the next morning, uh, when yeah. when it's very likely that I'm running into someone really good in, at, at the end in the uh, in the lower bracket as well? Because like the the direct effect of having a double elimination is it's gonna take forever, and yeah, right. if if you like can't afford to stay up until like 1 a.m 2 a.m because you're you're not full-time um then this is like uh till this effector but it, but then it's like a, a legit excuse not not to play double elimination anymore that actually makes a lot of sense now yeah 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 i like robbie's idea of uh the four qualifiers two players each but yeah. that's an organizational effort that i don't think esl is willing to invest in that's yeah. on like this is my semi unfiltered but like also complete uh completely theoretical analysis of why they don't do it is because I think ESL doesn't want to have to run four qualifiers. Oh, okay. It, it used to be like that like way back, right? Um yeah. When you guys um think of how it used to be run where you had the challenger and the premier where people who 
were in Premier at a certain stage stayed in Premier, and people who were in Premier at a certain stage dropped to Challenger, and then other people had to requalify. Like, do you think that would be a better way of doing things? Hmm. Hmm. I, I think I think that that format gave um, like underdogs a bigger sh a chance than they have nowadays. Um, but yeah, that, 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 that's about it. That's about, um, like not any, anyone, uh, below that, that no, no one that is like constantly top 16 will ever get the, the, uh, paid trip to an event. Right. Right. And that is, that is something that, um, like maybe, maybe, maybe it doesn't matter as much for, for Valencia because, for Europeans, Valencia is like the absolute cheapest event to attend. Uh, travel, hotel, and like living cost in Valencia wise. Um, but if, if you're thinking about Austin, Montreal, um, a, a lot of the like not as big names are going to struggle to travel there because either the teams are not going to pay for that or. Uh, they yeah they can, simply can't afford it themselves. Like it's it's a right. huge an investment traveling mm -hmm. yeah. across the big pond. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. It's I like mean, I'm not gonna go to Sweden, you know, because like a flight is at least a thousand dollars. Another really big part of that old system, though, that you're not mentioning, Silky, is that oh. the premier stuff and all that kind of crazy stuff. What was insane about it also was that Challenger would happen online. But Premier, they would fly all, they would pay for and oh, fly that's... all of the players out to the to like the studio and play the games live. That was what was insane. And they also had half and half when it was like NA and EU together. They would ha fly know. half of the North America or half of the mm. like players out to Europe, and half the players would fly out to North America. It was because it was like intermixed in between like who would face off versus who. So it yeah, was. That's right crazy but it was yeah. also really cool for like the uh, players yeah and th then it was like weird with like the that the, the chinese had to be had to play in uh in an a because they they probably would have wouldn't have gotten visas for for you in time and stuff like that but if you think about that what what that does to blizzard is it increases the costs so 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 much yeah yeah absolutely mm -hmm. Yeah. I actually really wonder what it would look like. And granted, this would still have a ridiculously increased cost, like, comparatively uh, to, I guess, like, today's system, which is, let's run a double elimination bracket, let's have Todd and Calaris in the ESL studio casting for three days per thing, and <laughs> yeah, no. we won't even cast every match. We're, in fact, we're not even going to cast the winner's finals. Like, compared to that cost, it's a lot more expensive. But I wonder if because now it's broken up between North America and Europe, and you don't have North Americans having to get tickets all the way to Europe and vice versa. Uh, if that would have been cool, but I, unfortunately, here's the thing: like everyone always talks about, oh man, it's so freaking awesome that Blizzard announced support for WCS in 2018. They're not dropping StarCraft. Coming from my perspective, I was really sad when I heard that announcement that they were going to do the same format, because mm. to me. I didn't have any doubts in my mind that Blizzard was going to support StarCraft in 2018. This wasn't like something that I was in question of, like I think yeah. a lot of people are. So to me, I was like, oh, okay, so if this system isn't actually working out, like they're just, they're still just going to keep doing it. Yeah, especially. That's I how I felt. Just like a, I think that was just more like a safeguard, to be honest. I don't know. They still have a very realistic option to change the format. So I don't know. I'm not I too hope, concerned. I hope so. I hope they do because there are it's like we've talked about before like I think there are a lot of things that could use adjusting with the current WCS system. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. It's safe to say but I think and uh, yeah Blizzard did I probably say that just to to keep people I guess uh to to make people not worry as much, right? Because I think in general I think we all know that when when we hear an interview with Mike Morheim like he, we, we Starcraft's his baby, right? Like he's, yeah. <laughs> he's not gonna touch that for as long as he can, and we all know Starcraft's the the esports part of Starcraft. It's just how it is. It's probably not profitable for Blizzard. It's probably just a money sink for them. 
but it's fine for them, right? They, they, they've been doing that for a while. By the way, guys, Puck has won a game against uh, the Protoss Haffy, yeah. but he only had 5,800 MMR, so that puts him <laughs> 9 MMR up, so it's not uh, significant enough. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry to interrupt you real quick, but there is something uh, in chat that I want to address real quick. So, uh, yeah, no Johnny X12 uh, gives you good practice unless you're in need. Um, no. That is, for for North America, that is absolutely <laughs> no. not the case. There is a bunch of players that would, let's, we have Silky here, that usually plays on Korea. If Ping allows it, uh, you, as, as on that high of level, you never want to play an A if you have a better option. Uh, a lot of the uh, North Americans on the, uh, on the East Coast, they try to play Europe as much as possible. Um, uh, the ones that are uh, living on the West Coast usually play, uh, play Korea. Uh, if all of those players regularly and constantly played on NA, then it would have been better practice. But as it is right now, the North American ladder for the top, top players in the world is not good practice. God all. damn it, Vitamin. Stop telling players not to play in ladder heroes, you goddamn <laughs> son of a gun. <laughs> I... I, I, mean, I, tell, I tell all of my players to do it. Isn't yeah, that he's right, something? though. I mean, he is right. If, um, yeah. like I said if um, earlier, if every single person who's playing, you know, ladder qualifiers right now was constantly playing an A, I would play an A. Um, yeah. But, like, at the moment, it's, like, um, it's not really worth it. Um, if you're trying to get the best practice possible, you know, and you have the, the ping to allow you to play cross-server, um, you're going to just play cross-server it's like you, you just have like when you play like people like uh like um on europe like uh Cyril or nurcio um in zvz or pvz or whatever your race is you're you're gonna learn a lot more than if you play someone of lower uh caliber so um it's it, always worth it in my opinion it, it even it even applies to to europeans like traveling to um to china for example i've i've talked to uh, Namshar when he traveled to WESG and then he obviously he could play on Korea and he was like damn Korea so much better than Europe and then North Americans yeah. on the East Coast are like Europe so much better than Korea <laughs> yeah, 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 and, and, hey. and, and it's yeah, not even definitely. that it's not even that Namshar is just better than the entire European ladder it's just if you play better people no matter if you beat them regularly or not or no yeah. matter if you're better than them it's still better practice right i'm we're, I, I will improve more if i play against someone who is 50 mm or above me than someone who is 50 mm or below me and that's a very small thing for me 50 mm is not a big difference but still it's it's going to be and, and that impact is going to grow more the further away you get right so if i if if i think if silky played innovation a hundred times or if silky played uh, drunken boy a hundred times. I think he's gonna get. He's gonna become. He might still not, you know, have a good record <laughs> against innovation. But it's uh, gonna. Here's... You doubting me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, doubting humankind, so man. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here's, a my counterpoint. here's my counterpoint, though. All right, take a look at NA ladder right now. Who yes. are the two of the top players that you'd want to see playing on NA? Obviously, Neve is pretty inactive. Let's let's count him out. He doesn't really play on NA very much. Masa actually does play on NA a good bit. Yeah. Semper actually does play on NA a good bit. I I'm like literally going down through like top MMR players right now. Optimus plays a bunch. Uh, Cham plays a lot. True actually plays on North America usually, but he was in Korea for a while, so he's a little bit less active. But True usually has like probably one of the m he has I think the most games of almost everybody in GM. Like he plays an insane amount. Yeah, he does. Snoop plays Snoop plays on NA a decent bit. Um, you have like Silky, you have random like Koreans, like Creator and stuff playing. Peely plays a lot. Bales has been playing a crazy amount. He's played like 600 games or like 500 games this season already. Uh, you actually do have a decent number of players that actually play a decent yeah. bit. And like, I'm looking at like the game counts for this season versus uh, like Europe and North America. And they're actually pretty similar for like the top players. Yeah. I guess um I guess the, the, like another reason why people would play crossover instead though is um redundancy and mm -hmm. um the quality of quality per game right so um if I play Bales like ten times 
like, and he's the only top Protoss that I play all the time, I don't think it's going to be beneficial as much as if I played someone like Classic and then went and played Stats 3 games and then went and yeah. played Dira game, you know? So it's like, like, it's hard to really justify playing uh, a server where only a few top players play all the time, so. And not only that, but you also don't want to always be playing versus your competition, right? You want to have not a break too, from that too. and not just give away your play style. Because every time you get to know them, they are also getting to know yep. you. That's very true. Like, I, Bales has been going Colossus a lot recently. So, like, the last few games, I just did Viper timings. And so, like, you know, you want to be able to practice a lot of different styles uh, and versus a lot of different unique styles. So, yeah, you have to you have to be in a situation where there's a lot of people who are better than you, um, I think, in order to prove uh, the fastest. So, yeah. And uh, especially for Korea, what is the case for everyone else is, I think that there is a, a mental component that you feel really good about yourself if you beat one of those top, top Koreans on, yeah. on ladder. I think, uh, well, like, what, once again, that is something that Namshur mentioned, that uh, when he played on Korea, um, like if if he if he runs into Bian and Sue and Dark twenty times and he just wins like three or four times out of those, that's like yeah, damn I like yeah, damn I a, took took games of like those yeah, names of the best of the best, you know. Yeah. So it's a it's also a huge confidence boost. Yeah. 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 I agree a lot. And then that like what like one. When else do you do you play letter to get a confidence boost? That's like unheard of, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's more of a masochistic thing, <laughs> if anything. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Silky, why don't you why don't you play more custom games for practice then? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. I. Yeah, I don't know. That's, I don't really. Have that's like answer literally the games. answer I get from every player I ever ask. Like, why don't you play more yeah. custom games? It's I either I don't like, know or it's like it's really hard. <laughs> I guess it's more like um, I'll play customs with some people, but it's more like a. It's kind of you have to really take some time to like ask a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Whereas I guess like just clicking the ladder button is kind of easier if you're like uh, me and you have like other obligations to do. You know, um, I think if you're like full time and stuff like that, it's a lot better. Um, I, th I think full like the a lot of the top Europeans play a good amount of yeah. customs. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's like uh, I have to ask a lot of people, and then maybe a few people will respond, and then out of a few of those, maybe one person will say, "Okay, yeah, sure, let's play right now." When I could just be, you know, laddering against other people. I don't know. That's yeah. kind of my excuse, maybe. I mean, like the 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 prime example of uh, of like custom games and like practicing against something specific is. What uh, what Lambo and and Zanster did, right? So, so what what they did for for the last map pool was figure out thirteen the, like the different thirteen twelve timings with like with with speed without speed queen first uh -huh. oh, uh, yeah. bailing nest all in or just into expand, uh, and they they played like fifty games. Of all the different uh, 13 12s on every map, and they like Lambo can tell you, like, if on Abyssal Reef the Zerklings hit at like second 56 instead of 53, then it's this version. <laughs> like, it, yeah, like, that's pretty good. That, yeah. is, that is like in, insane if you can do that. Yeah. And it, like, that, that, that kind of stuff only works on the highest level because, like, uh, if, if I like if you play in Masters 1. Uh, like someone will forget his overlord for three seconds, and then the, the zerklings are later, and you <laughs> yeah. misinterpret like the yeah, thirty-four version and lose. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I think TLO even said I think I, I think there was like a, a ten-second difference between the twelve pool and the thirteen-twelve with the links hitting, or maybe a little bit more, right? So then what, what TLO said, I just hide my links if I 12 pull, I just hide my links 10 seconds longer, and, and, and he's messed with your opponent. <laughs> yeah. like, That's actually really smart. <laughs> well, TLO's just that creative guy. You yeah, guys. I know. Eh? <laughs> Dr. Dario. Yeah. So um, creative. Yeah. But it, 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 Customs is, is interesting, though, because some players will just refuse to play Customs with the majority of people, so it would be really special to play with them. I know Serral doesn't really play Customs a lot, but Lambo, for example, is one of the players that he does play customs with, right? So, 
uh, both Lambo and Serral can benefit from that, but not a lot of people actually play uh, Serral except for on the ladder. Yeah. Which is different yeah. because he'll obviously do different builds and stuff like that. So it's, it's and also who who do you trust, right? Snoot will never play with Nersho in a custom game ever <laughs> if he doesn't need to, right? Yeah. Like it's, yeah. There's, there's a lot of politics that go around with this yeah. kind of yeah. stuff yeah, yeah, for, yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. But but the, like Nersho is like a special snowflake that he has a, a a bit of beef with with everyone. Uh, I I remember that that one home story cup. Where uh, like Scarlet, where Scarlet was under pixels and she played Nurcio and like Namshar casually walked into uh, into the booth and was like talking in between games and then like Nurcio called Namshar out for like giving hints to an opponent and Namshar being a practice partner and what happened like at that point like three months before that they played like two customs. Uh, yeah, I know. And the, and and Nurchi was like, yeah, my my practice partners give away my 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 bills. So it was like, uh, it's like I played dude, two games with you. I I played two <laughs> games months ago, and I wasn't even giving her build order advice. It was just like general advice for Nurchio that because you play him on the European ladder all the time. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, yeah. I guess I just wish yeah. maybe if I had more people to um um reach out to for customs, I would play more. I just, I guess I really don't reach out to many people, so that might I be I mean, fun. okay, this is getting into a whole different discussion, but... <laughs> Silky, what is your team for? Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. I did, okay, okay, to be fair, I actually, um, I gotta give a shout-out to Zanster. I played a ton of games with him. Um, not that it helped very much based on my results, but <laughs> I, I felt like I learned a lot, so um, that, that was really nice of him. Um, awesome. Yeah, so I guess if there's a big match coming up, I'll play customs with people. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You can practice more specific things, right? It's just that all all the noise goes away when you don't play when you don't when you don't play a ladder because there's some of bullshit happening when you play a ladder uh, that you yeah. don't want to have to deal with because you're just practicing this one thing. And it's just, it depends on the race you play too, right? Protoss and Terran they require I think. It's less less now, or, or a little bit more now for Zerg as well. But especially Protoss, like they rely so much still on build orders. Uh, you're you're still yeah. gonna, you're, you're still gonna have to like you want to have to you you want to be able to cleanly execute them, like and and, and customs really help with like getting that down. I think anyway. Okay, so a quick update about Puck. Uh, Puck just hit Namshar on the NA oh, letter. What? And I've, I have really no idea why Namshar is playing at 6 a.m. in the is, morning. Namshar is like, he's like Snoot. He plays an insane amount and plays North American ladder when European ladder is like really yeah. good. Yeah, and he yeah. plays a lot. He's like actually one of the most active like ladder heroes yeah. players. Yeah, so, in the so, 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 so the thing is, I, I have I have Namshar on Skype and I'm like, I... I Actually, uh, I was looking at my friend list, and he didn't go to sleep yet. So, why is he playing at six a.m.? He was like playing oh, yeah. uh, Counter Strike at like four, and I, I asked him like, "Dude, uh, it, didn't you fix your sleep schedule like last <laughs> week?" I was like, "Yeah, uh, well." <laughs> yeah, I played him yeah. at uh, seven a.m. Um, his time or whatever a few days ago, and I'm like, "Isn't it a bit late for you guys?" He's like, "Well, it's early now, so." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <okay." laughs> I swear to God, like, he'll message me randomly and be like, oh, man, really close thing. And I'm like, it's 9 p.m. for me. So it's, yeah, it's like 7 a.m. for you right now. Why are you awake? He's <laughs> like, oh, you know, just playing some NA ladder. It's like, oh, it's close to the NA ladder cut off, ladder heroes cut off. Or like, oh, I just couldn't sleep or something like that. My sleep schedule is messed up because of something. That's funny. <laughs> Snoot's like that a lot also. Snoot will just be up at like yeah, Snoot, Snoot 10 a.m. sometimes, man. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he's like up at 10 a.m. for himself, and I'm like, yeah. you didn't sleep, did you? You didn't wake up at 10 a.m. You you, you <laughs> stayed up till 10 a.m. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, man. That's... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah but, but but this is not going to have any effect on the, on the ladder qualifier anymore, I don't think. Yeah, well, there's no. three minutes left. I don't even know if that game will end, to be honest. No, no, no. It, I probably I won't. It. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's... So, this has been kind of a lackluster... Uh, Cluffer in terms of action, right? And and I mean we can't really help that obviously, but um, it's 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 unfortunate because the past NA one has also has been very exciting and the pa and especially the last EU one was amazing, right? I don't think anyone can top that in the near future. Um, oh, yeah. But it, it yeah it's unfortunate, but th that happens. Instead we had good talks about 
relevant discussions about the game, which is fine too. And we still, I mean, we're still looking at the the scoreboard, but it's you know, it's it's nigh on impossible for anything to happen because there's no. Okay, the problem basically is if no one above you in terms of MMR plays, if you don't hit any of those players, it's gonna be very hard to grind your way up in MMR, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Um, Drunken Boy and Puck, obviously Drunken Boy not playing anymore. <coughs> they're not gonna find anyone who they're gonna get an amazing amount of MMR from, which is what they need in you know in 30 seconds. So, <laughs> so <laughs> this is this is actually like something I've thought a lot about when I uh, constructed Ladder Heroes and everything. And that's actually one of the reasons why I strongly believe, and this this is kind of weird to do when you also have like online qualifiers and stuff going on as well, but I strongly believe in this idea of just straight up give money to people who are in the top like eight or something of the ladder. Because imagine if Masa could have gotten an extra $300 or something for actually trying to over, well, maybe not Neeb. That's a hard one. Okay. Imagine if Semper <laughs> trying to overtake Masa or something. You know, it's, they're only like, what, uh, maybe 15 or like 20 MMR apart or something? Yeah, like, yeah. that's a really feasible thing. Semper might have been playing. Semper might have actually hit Puck and potentially lost. And maybe him or Drunken Boy are a lot closer. Maybe Jon Snow can suddenly actually make a comeback because there are good players besides just True who actually didn't even know about this se2 stock website and during his game with puck he was asking puck like oh does it end tomorrow does it end today like what's what's the deal with this like he's he's playing because he just wants to practice right but yeah if you actually have some incentive for people to get yeah. further up besides just like silky being like i hope true loses so i get better seating like <laughs> i mean i think you could do so much more with this system but the way the system is set up right now with both mmr and uh, like one of the reasons why points actually works for those who don't know is points you have something called bonus pool bonus pool will cover your losses if you lose a game and you have bonus pool it'll eat away from your bonus pool instead of your like you know just directly reducing your points and if you win then it doubles your win so it's like it's an it's like a resource it's like starcraft right if you have a bunch of minerals banking up then you're doing something wrong. You should be spending them. Same thing with bonus pool. So I feel like that that's why I really like the point system. It's not a perfect system, yeah. Yeah. but I feel like at least giving a reward to people being further up in MMR or something would be good. Yeah. The only thing about points, though, that I don't like is I feel like um, it doesn't represent the true top of the ladder because I feel like uh, with points, you can grind out a ton of games. And you're just going to instantly get a lot more points, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but so, here's, here's, yeah. here's my counter-argument. You already have an online qualifier that players like Neeb are just like, well, I'll just play in this because it's less effort. So in my mind, the ladder qualifier is a really good opportunity to reward like the grinders and the people who are really trying hard and gives up-and-coming players a little bit more of a chance to make it through and kind of get a little bit of a spotlight. And the players that really just don't actually care and don't want to put in that much effort can still just they can still play in the ladder qualifier because they have to they will just by default have to play fewer games. Yeah, they still have to exert some more effort, but they have to play far fewer games than yeah, say true. somebody who's like I don't know has to play like wins maybe like ten points total after like seven games because they keep winning and losing. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, maybe. The only thing, though, is um, it would... Yeah, I don't know. That's actually a good incentive. I don't know. The, the, the only caveat, again, as I, like, counterpoint yeah. my counterpoint's counterpoint, um, <laughs> is players like Neve would be royally fucked in that kind of system. Like, he actually... Neve, if he wanted to, could not play in that system. And that's because it's the same reason I've talked with him about why he doesn't play in Ladder Heroes. He's like, yeah, I used to play in Ladder Heroes, but then my MMR got too high, and now I only get two points per game or something. Yeah, and, that too. And unfortunately, when you only get two points per game, and everybody starts off at relatively no- same number of points at the beginning of the season, like you literally just time wise, you cannot catch up with people. It's actually like impossible for him. What, what, yeah. does, what doesn't he play EU then? He does play EU. He, he, does he play EU ladder heroes? He doesn't play EU ladder heroes, but uh, I honestly think it's a similar thing because I know like. I don't know if it's the case still right now, but I know last year his MMR was the highest on EU during the EU ladder qualifiers. 
Uh, no, I mean like Cyril is at seven point two k. No, no, no. La- uh, not last, last year. not like last, last time. Yeah. Last year, the EU qualifiers are going on, and Neeb had the highest MMR, higher than any EU player. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. but that is. And not now Cyril became a god, so you know. Yeah, I don't know. Cyril's just a monster yeah. right now. He hit like seven point three at one point, I know. So yep. that's insane. Yeah, like while 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 everyone's trying to join. The seven K club, he's going for eight K. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. 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 Cyril's on, on, on another level right now on the EU ladder. It's it's insane actually. Um, but I think uh, as the my overlay says, the ladder is locked, guys, and it's been so for three minutes. So pretty much what you guys see on screen right now is the live ranking. It's also the ranking that's gonna go through uh, and if everything is obviously Blizzard has to check for uh, legitimacy, but we're gonna assume that's not a problem. Um, the top eight right now on the screen are going to go into the qualifier for WCS Valencia, which is uh, happening on uh, July 13th to through 15th. Um, happy to say I'll, I'll be there myself. Luckily, yes, Valencia is awesome. But uh, yeah, these people um, are gonna go for uh, are. Uh, <clears throat> eight players that will uh, fight off in the overall NA qualifier. The other eight coming from two quali- two open qualifiers hosted by ESL uh, that are going to be taking place the day after tomorrow and the day after that. So I think that's Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> Tuesday and Wednesday, I think probably afternoon or early evening uh in terms of 5 p.m pacific 5 p.m pacific so that's i believe uh that's then 8 p.m eastern right if i'm not mistaken yep Yep. um so anyone can join that so if you're even if you're bronze league diamond league whatever you're obviously gonna have less of a chance than (laughs) say wait wait did, did they remove the master requirement i don't think they ever had one I played it. They used to uh, have one. They removed it. I played a okay, diamond league sure. player in my first, uh, uh, in, in my first, I think, gen shipping qualifier. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, it's it's definitely possible. Uh, so anyone can join. Um, now the eight, the, the the four players that advance from both those qualifiers, so eight in total, will face up against the eight qual- uh, eight players that qualify through the ladder qualifiers. It's kind of complicated, I know, but in the end. 16 players, I think that happened on Friday, 16 players fight off uh, for the top four spots who get an all-paid trip to Valencia, including hotel, uh, travel, uh, pro... I don't even know if it's food, in- if food is included, but I'm assuming so. They get everything paid for, right? By uh, yep. Blizzard um, yep. slash DreamHack. So that's great for them, because for, for American players, and, and I guess overseas in general, it's, just inc- it's incredibly expensive. Right for teams and players alike, right? It's really expensive. For me, a flight to Valencia is, you know, two hundred euros if I'm unlucky right now. For someone that lives in the United States, that that could easily go to a thousand dollars, right? Easily. Yeah. And that's Easy. and then you're just talking about the flight, right? Like accommodation is is not super expensive in Valencia, but it can still add up, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you know, players, students who are poor, they want that qualification. They want that. Qual- they want to qualify. Uh, so these top eight up against another top eight from the open qualifier. I think it happened on Friday. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to double check that. Um, but yeah, and all of that will be hopefully all broadcasted by <laughs> ESL, <laughs> <laughs> not missing out on any important games. Um, more NA players like Scarlet will probably play in that. Um, so uh, yeah, you'll uh, you can look forward to seeing more NA players in action in those open qualifiers as they decided not to play here. Uh, I think that's it in re- regards to the the rankings. I don't know if you guys want to discuss anything uh, about this particular thing right now. Oh, Numshar by the way just beat Puck uh, and got 17 points <laughs> off of him. So <laughs> yeah. and he's facing him again. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. So it's it's good for Puck that there was no pressure because if there was, then he would feel pretty bad right now, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. Oh well, like like he said, he wasn't too serious. You know, if it happened, it happened, and it didn't happen. Yep. Yep. Kind of funny the two people who didn't end up qualifying but were close are both players who were just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. 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 I don't care. 
Meanwhile, poor Volts was like trying his hardest to do it and just couldn't make it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he like he was he was so far away, anyways. Yeah. Well, and he didn't have his ma- He didn't have like the proper amount of matches anyway, or something. Yeah. Well, I was yes. really surprised uh, Jon Snow didn't qualify though. That actually really surprised me. Yeah, he he, he, he must have uh, felt it. So. Yeah, he must have had mm-hmm. a bad bad day and lost like a bunch of MMR. Bummer. Yeah, it's just so funny to me, right? Because like I think about like players that are possibly some of like the top, at least like top five or six in North America, and Jon Snow recently has been hitting that list for me. It's just it's just I, so I, weird. Actually, like look, looking at Jon Snow's uh, match history, uh, he he got he got a little bit fucked by by the Europeans. Like he lost a whole bunch. Uh, he lost a whole bunch against Denver. Uh, yeah, Denver, 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 uh, Namshar, Optimus. Oh, yeah, God. Like Optimus, yeah, so that, um, he, he might might be mm. the, the, the only NA player uh, that really felt the European impact for this qualifier, I think. I, you know what, I, I had an interview with him the other day, and I want to say that he's been scrimming a lot against Denver. Like, I thought I remember him saying that, so like that he had been playing like quite a few customs with him, like working on uh, like ZVZ. So I don't know if that played into that at all. Like he, I don't know. Yeah, well, could 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 be, and yeah, but that but that that, that that's where he lost like the majority of of, yeah. his, mm-hmm. of his of his games. That's rough. Yes. Well, I think he is probably still one of the favorites to make it through in like the online qualifiers. Oh, yeah. So uh-huh. yeah. yeah, yeah, like you said, eight surprised. spots is a lot, man. It's if you think about it, like oh, the top eight uh, uh, U.S. Um, I keep saying U.S. NA players. Uh, USA. Yeah. <laughs> USA. USA. <laughs> no. Oh, please, the, top, no. The, top, the top eight <laughs> NA players, apart from these eight that had have just qualified for the qualifier. Like, they're all going to have a very, very good... Like, eight spots is a lot. If there were, like, two or four spots, that's, like, you know, it's rough. But eight spots is for... for If you're really... If you're truly, like, one of the best in your scene, you're going to have a fairly... Well, I want to say easy time, but it's going to be not as much of a stress as, let's say, four yeah. spots, right? Like, yeah. uh, for for um uh, for South America, uh, South and Middle America, they only have four spots. Four, it's four, right? Is it? Or is it two? No, it's f- I don't even know. Uh, it might two, be two. Two people yeah, get two. flown out from yeah, yeah, South so America. So that, that's much more of a stress for them. Uh, if you, if you uh, think no, yeah, no, yeah. no, there's major. Mm-hmm. It's stress because there's three really good players yeah. in the Latin American scene, and only two of them qualify. So it's like, okay, yeah. Cham, Kalazur, Major. Yeah, who's gonna be left out every single yeah, time? Exactly. It's, it's always Cham. He's he's, yeah. he's still still it's a little bit below. Poor Cham, man. Yeah, Cham, Cham's, Cham's an awesome guy. He's made but, it. Yeah. He's made it through a few times. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, yeah. Every, every time Major decided not to play. <laughs> right. Every time he just overslept or decided to not Freaking play. Pokemon, guys. I'm just saying. Maybe a new Pokemon game needs Dude. to come out. Stop Major from being so good. <laughs> God. He right. becomes a, a Pokemon pro instead. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> ma- ma- Major is major so, so weird in the sense that he will just walk up to random Koreans and ask them, hey, do you know this Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> majors, majors is is one of a kind. I'll like I'll give him yeah. that. Like he's <laughs> he's a special guy. <laughs> I see what you did oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not calling him that. I am never calling him special I unless I am forced either. to. Yeah. Um, unless um, unless like WCS thing. hires you to cast, then yeah. then they force you to. <laughs> yeah, there was Man, like a team liquid we... thing that's like we are not changing uh, majors' name. Uh, at least in, until he has that name for like a consistent year. And after that, then, then we'll you know, do it. although to be fair, like, so I actually got I got into an argument with Major because uh, he changed his name and Ladder Heroes. Like one of the requirements is you have to have like your actual name. And oh. he was like, "Yeah, I go by special." And he actually made some relatively convincing arguments. Like, technically, there is like four or five press articles. And he doesn't have this for any of his other name changes, like Anna Prosser and all that other random shit. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> God, that was that, that was that's, a meme. That's my favorite uh, name he's ever gone by too. Yeah, <laughs> like he had like four articles that were like, I, I like he was officially going by uh, special now. Like major name changes is special and stuff. And technically, that's like the name he's had for a decent like since 2013 or 2014. That's technically been his name. And not only that, but like I even asked him like, okay, well. Like, what about your social media and stuff? He was like, okay, yeah, I'll change. And he's gone by special for, like, almost seven, eight months now on Twitter and stuff. So, like, that's fair, yeah. I, I, I do give him a little bit of credit. Like, okay. You, you are one, actually th- kind of serious about this I, one. I, I think right it's going to stay. Right when you think it's going to go back to major, you know? <laughs> yo, yo, I told him the second he changes, like, he's out of ladder heroes. He's like, he's DQ. <laughs> <He's DQ'd. laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the reason he's staying that name. Though. And then he, and then he's gonna re- and then he's gonna name change again to like Fear Dragon sixty nine. <laughs> <No. laughs> he, he already did that. He had a clan on. He had a clan on Korea called like Swag sixty nine or something, and he had a account like a Smurf account named Fear Dragon or something. Oh or yeah. Fear swa- it was like Fear Swagon or something. Fear Swagon. Oh, that, that's who that was. Oh. That was Keely, yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. You, 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 was... keep, you keep telling that story because you're proud that you've been GM. Yo, dude, that was like, one of my yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> sports. Is like somebody made a Smurf account under my name. Oh, oh man, so that's how you know if you've officially made it. <laughs> for sure. No, for... Keely's, just a, Keely's just a clown. I love him. All right, guys, if anyone has any shout-outs, now is the time. I will go um, by, I guess, the overlay, how it's set up. Okay, uh, Dank Shrine, do you have any shout-outs you want to give right now? Uh, shout-out to my sponsor, Sloth Esports, and my boy Game Time for getting in. Love you, man. Uh, looking forward to seeing you play. Awesome. Yeah, Travis Zhang was also in the chat just a second ago, just to congratulate his player. <laughs> That's my S player <laughs> in the chat. Awesome. Awesome to see some passion for your for your own players, obviously, right? Um, uh, let's see, uh, Vitamin, any shout outs for you? Um, uh, uh, sh- shout out to the sun that is already <laughs> up because it's six a.m. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't, I don't have shout outs this time. No shout outs, not even to your mom or something. Mm, nah. No, no, she's just... not be calling me this week. No shout outs. Oh, okay, never mind. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Fear Dragon, any shout outs? <laughs> yeah, I want to thank everyone for uh, tuning in. I want to thank my sponsors Twitch, HTC, HyperX, Ballistics, Razor, Alienware, Monster, <laughs> Jinx, <Jamie, KFC, laughs> Discord, wow. Crunchyroll, and Need for Seat. You guys can follow me at on Twitter.com slash Liquid Ret and Twitch.tv slash Liquid Oh, oh for, 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 wow. for a second I was like, oh, are those your future sponsors? <laughs> Actually, it's ne- you know it's so sad. The liquid Rhett meme is dead because Rhett changed his name to Rhett J A H Rhett J. Oh, really? On Twitter. Oh, man, yeah, man. it's so sad. But I'm still just I'm actually. Can I take the name Liquid Rhett? <laughs> <laughs> do it. Not do if it. I beat you first. Please <laughs> do it. Funny. Liquid Rhett. The, but like also like there's a bunch of people in, in StarCraft nowadays that won't even remember oh. because that was like in. 20. Someone t- got it in March. Oh. Damn. Ah, that yeah, sucks. Like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so do not follow Liquid Red anymore. No. Don't follow. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm, oh, too I just followed now. him. Oh, fuck that, man. <laughs> How many followers does he have? Two. Two. <laughs> three. <laughs> three now. Three. Oh, man. Everyone follow Liquid Red. <laughs> Yeah, f- follow Fear Dragon at Liquid Red. Yeah, All right. follow me at follow me at Liquid Red, guys. <laughs> All right, so good. Do you have any any uh, words to say? Any shout outs? Uh, shouts out to you guys for having me on this. Um, also, shouts out to the viewers and uh, Sidestorm Gaming for giving me a bunch of really cool opportunities. So, got to give them a lot of respect. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. All right. Okay. So, I want to shout out you guys for sticking with me through this uh, this qualifier. It's been Obviously, this qualifier has been less eventful, but it's still been fun. You know, interesting discussions come to light, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Thanks to the chat, because they've been very supportive tonight. Uh, especially uh, Ninja Starcraft and um, uh, sorry, which Johnny X X I I one two for the the compliments and the support, etc., etc. Cetera, et cetera. It's been amazing. We definitely want to keep doing this, so so keep uh, keep updated. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitch. Uh, 
definitely want to keep doing. We're this. only going to be able to do this two more times. I know, right? So year. we need to we need some other content to to pump out, man. <laughs> no, but yeah. that that's right. For this year, there's only two more, just for um, for Montreal. So, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. But I think that's only going to take place in July. So it's going to be like a month break for for this event. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out! Shout out to Pig for that host. Shout out to Pig for that host. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Man, that was a, that was like 140 people that just tuned in for that, and a, a bunch of you guys stayed. So thank you guys for yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of them know. stayed till the till the ladder was locked at least. So yeah, yeah. thanks guys. The, the more eyes on the more eyes on this locked ladder is the better. <laughs> it's just it's just getting um, just more exposure for this. I guess tournament. It's not really a tournament, but for this event, it's just always good because I think it's still really underrepresented. Even though we're doing this now, uh, so thank you guys for that. Um, quick announcement: I will, be, as I said, I will be going to Valencia, and as I've kind of started to make more content, uh, I already said it in the chat earlier, but I'm planning to do some some content there, some interviews, maybe some some fluff that people don't really get to see that often. I'm still gonna have I, to. I, are you going to become the EU Fear Dragon? The EU Fear Dragon. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to, I have to make, make a, like, a nice nameplay on that then. But. No, no. Okay, <laughs> Thalandros, Thalandros. Have you seen... Oh, God, what was his name? Um, Edward Starcraft. Edward Starcraft. I have not. Is that a... That, that, OSC, sound, yeah, that right? sounds familiar. Oh, my God. He hosts so, a bunch of Nick... OSC tournaments. Nick, wait, no, not not Eddie. not Eddie SC2. Not Eddie U Tool. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought yeah, you were pulling my else. leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've oh, seen no. Edward Starcraft. Edward Starcraft. He's like this super awkward guy. Like, yeah, intentionally awkward. And he would just go up to, like, for example, you <gasps> yes. do interviews I at remember. random events. He'd yeah. go up to girls and be like, "So, <gasps> what would you do if you're?" Bra, the uh, like your bra was destructible rocks. Like, how would you break it open? I remember his interview with Destiny. Actually, that's right. Yeah. It was so awkward. Oh, it was man. so cringe, but it was so good. Like, oh, dude, man. you do that shit. Like, man, I would, I would fucking sub to you in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what that that's what's like Lycan's new show is gonna be like. <laughs> yeah. No, Lycan's oh. new show will be. Like one episode of something, and then he just will disappear for another six <laughs> months. I love Lycan. <laughs> I consider him a friend, but holy shit, man! When he said when he said the Lycan was coming back, I'm like, okay, dude. I you don't will think see it's coming. When it, you, I will see you, you when you go live. Happen? You don't think it's gonna happen? No, it's it's not. Honestly, <laughs> like it's gonna happen in like eight months after he's re-promised that he's gonna go live. Oh man, yeah, he's gonna just go back to straight, straight back to cooking streams and making steak. And like, stuff. Lycan is busy with other shit in life, and yeah. he wants to do stuff, but he has trouble on the follow through. Yeah, wasn't he also trying to do something with like CS:GO? I think so. Yeah. Well, other, I think yeah, either that or just something in esports in general, right? I don't. Yeah. No, I don't know exactly, but. Oh, I wish him all the luck in the world. I love him so. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Much love. He's an awesome dude. But I guess I guess I guess that's it, guys. Shoutouts are done. I mean, throw on the floor. Yeah, shoutouts are done. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. I don't know exactly the date, but it's gonna be somewhere in July, as far as I know. Montreal is in August, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, September. Yep. September. September. So, okay, so that's gonna be July or August, because for some reason mm-hmm. this qualifier is also uh, like a month before and like a week after, or two weeks after June shipping, right? Which is very, yeah. um, uh, very shortly after that. So, but anyway, we'll see you then. Uh, keep up to date in the Team Liquid thread. I'll, I'll update it there. I'll update Twitter, obviously. Uh, follow these guys on Twitter, by the way. They've been amazing co-hosts, and uh, especially Liquid Red. Especially yeah, Liquid Red. Li- liquid Red <laughs> at Liquid Red. <laughs> yeah. Please follow Liquid Red, guys. Anyway. <laughs> so, oh, and fuck whoever down uh, downvoted the Reddit post. Like, why? Did people downvote the Reddit post? Yeah, it, it's got like seventy percent upvotes only, so oh, okay. gonna, there must I'm have been go. a bunch of people downvoting it. Why would you do that? They actually obscure know. in the algorithm the like fake downvotes, so that you mm. it's it's like a bot tracking thing. So ah, okay, it's 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 not always super accurate. Can I actually just say one thing though? I just want to also say yeah, like no this kind of stuff is freaking awesome. But honestly, if people who are watching this want to see this kind of stuff hyped up more, they want to see more people getting involved and following this stuff, or even just want to see more effort from other community figures, and even Blizzard, then go talk about that. It's like the most powerful thing you can do 
talk about it on Reddit or Twitter or Team Liquid and stuff. Because if nobody is talking about it, then there's yeah. no hype generated. And if there's no yeah. hype generated, there's no stories that get built. If there's no stories that get built, then we just get kind of events in a vacuum. And that sucks. Mm-hmm. That is really boring. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, honestly, um, uh, I think it was... Uh, uh, oh my, what's it? Ninja Starcraft, who just gave us a... Uh, just talked to us in the chat earlier today, or early, earlier in the stream. And that's awesome. Because that gives us feedback. That gives us... Thing, I, I wouldn't know how this show is received if people actually want to see that, right? Because people might just tune in for once and be like, man. Or people like want this to be a recurring thing. And we need to know that because that makes that prompts content creators to make more, put more effort into it, put more time into it, and get it bigger. And also, yeah, as you said, create storylines, create uh, better content for the game. And, and the scene definitely, you know, needs that. So thank you guys for doing that and keep doing it for all sorts of stuff, by the way. It's 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 very important, and uh, that doesn't just mean don't downvote the post on Reddit. By the way, just everything. <laughs> 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 so uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, guys, I, I, um, there is a lot of uh, a lot of downtime between the next qualifiers we just said. I will probably make some content in between or after that as well. Uh, so keep uh, keep that in mind if you like the content that we're producing right now. Apart from that, I think that's it. Unless one of you guys needs to put something on there of their hit mind. The, hit that follow button right now, boys. Hit Everyone in the chat button. right now, hit hit that follow button. Yo, what's your hit YouTube? It. One more time, Philandros, because I want to follow you for those oh, interviews that you're going to be have doing. I not YouTube yet, man. I'm not for- God damn it, man. <laughs> Dude, get it set up. Get it set up. Come on. <laughs> I will get it set up. Obviously, yeah. You're not going to do that. Ooh, what if we do just, do just do a Twitch IRL thing? That would be amazing. Twitch IRL StarCraft interview. <laughs> There's no, there's no Wi-Fi in the. Oh no, but that's fine because I think starting in at the end of June, I think we get uh, free European-wide internet based on your data plan that you have in your country. So uh, yeah. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, I don't, I don't know exactly. But that's somewhere soon. Anyway, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. But YouTube for sure, I will set that up soon. Uh, Mark, don't forget to host someone. I will host someone because I <laughs> I forgot that last time we had like two interviews yeah. last time. It was a shame. Who do you guys think I should host? Just host. Uh, uh, let's talk. let's see who's on. All yeah, right. Hang on. Talk, talk. Talk makes sense. We need to host someone who's, who doesn't have too many viewers though. Like we want to actually. Like, uh, help yeah. Uh, I say. Bales, uncanning. Well, uncanning will get a bunch of viewers. So. Bills. Bales is a good one. Yeah, Bills is a good one. Let's host, Bills. host Bailey. Bills has been watching Bales. this too a lot. So thanks, Bills. Uh, yeah. For that. And also, he's rank. Rank seven right now on the ladder fire. So, so we're supporting StarCraft that way too. I know, right? Awesome. The Damn. things we do for StarCraft. <laughs> uh, so let me really quickly find his idea. Elevate Bills. All right. I also like how Bales just like sat there and was like, "Okay, so I'm not allowed to play North American Ladder until this stupid <laughs> thing is over. So I gotta wait <laughs> to go get my practice in for today." <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's funny. All right, guys, we're just about to host Bill, so if you want, stick around for that. Uh, really, really good Protoss player. Obviously, right now, I guess, rank 3 NA in terms of Protoss. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks, guys.